The defending American League champion Tampa Bay Rays made their first trip to the new Yankee Stadium to kick off a seven-game American League East road trip with two in the Bronx. The first trip to the old Yankee Stadium for Tampa wasn't pretty as they lost 7-1 back in 1998. In 1998, A.J. Burnett was dominating a ball, but this A.J. Burnett gets a start for the Yankees tonight, and these are his seasonal numbers. He's 2-0. ERA is a little higher than he would like. You can see 25 strikeouts and 31 and two-thirds innings. Opponents hitting 257. And here's our Jeep pitcher scouting report. No flop at the Trop. You go back to April the 14th when he started the Trop. The can of field picked up the victory and struck out nine in eight innings. Yankees won that game 7-2. He's been down this road before. In four of his previous five starts, the Yankees had lost the previous game. Well, A.J. has done the job more often than not. The Yankees have won four of those five starts. And K's for the Rays. He has struck out more Ray hitters than any other team and into the World Series. Strike three. One two pitch. Swing and a miss. He got him. 25 year old Andy Sonnenstein on the man and he's made five starts one and three an inflated ERA of 6.75. Opponents batting 336 against him. This is a Jeep pitcher scout report. 2008 he had four wins in April. That set a raised team record. He's got one win. And he strikes out gross looking third strikeout for Burnett. Breaking ball strike three. Burnett looks on tonight. Into tonight. Was moves too. A little cut on it, maybe a little run, a big hook. Swing and a miss as Swisher down on strikes first. A strikeout for Sonnenstein. No. Line drive, left field, it's a base hit. That will score Upton. Damon fields it in the corner. Longoria going for two. And he's going to make it with an RBI double. He picks up his 35th ribby of the year. And the Rays lead 1-0. This is also going to be his 14th double of the season. He leads the league in doubles. He's, he's off to a great start. Fastball in. He's quick. Watch him bring that right arm in so he can get the barrel of the bat through. He rips it into the corner. He's, he's just off. Strike three. Hanging it down looking. For you. you know, I mean, that, this, guy, this guy that's grinding it out day in and day out. Molina slaps on the left field. Diving and making the players. Crawford to take an extra base hit away from Molina. I'm going to change my vote to Crawford. Well, the Yankees go down in order. One, two, three. Molina hit the ball hard, but a nice play by Carl Crawford takes away any chance at a hit. So we played three at the stadium in the Bronx and Tampa Bay. One, two. And Bartlett swings and misses. One away. Six strikeout for A.J. Burnett. Swing and a miss. Power. Right by Upton. For uh, young outfielder Matt Joyce. Who I believe is still in the minor leagues with Tampa right now. Damon loses that back. And out of the inning. Same inning, now two on for Robinson Cano, and he'll fly out to Carl Crawford. Sonnenstein went seven and Swing and a miss. Eight strikeouts for AJ. Iwamura hits one to deep center. Malky Cabrera has room. He'll make the catch. Tagging is Burrow. He'll score. Moving to third is Gross. It's a sack fly for Iwamura. And it's 2 0 Rays. Line drive to right field. It's a base hit in front of Swisher. So Gabe Gross will score an RBI single for Navarro. And he certainly has not done that this year. And it's 3 0 Rays. That's a backbreaker. Just what we were saying. He got a 2-0 count. Fastball had to come in there. Molina setting up in. Drifts back. He knows it. He got Strike three to Sharon down looking. Gloria, that might not be good. He goes. Throw to second. Not in time. High throw. 20th stolen base for Crawford. Jose Molina thought it might have been interference on Mongoria. We'll take a look. It's a veteran catcher, and you can see a good jump, and that's just pure speed. He's not looking back. He's straight through the bag, and I love the way these guys slide. 
feet first. You see Molina tries to get, you know, when you have that kind of speed, you're going to rush. And you see Molina rushes a little bit there. And ball down and in. Trying to work the interference call. See him there? <laughs> That's a veteran catcher right there. Trying to work it. Strike three. Swisher down looking. Sonnenstein doesn't seem to be uh, fatiguing at all. He is retired. The last four in a row. And now... Nick Swisher is thrown out by the home plate umpire, James Hoy. Joe Girardi will come out and try to separate them, and Ronnie Thompson's doing the same job. Well, Joe Girardi had an animated discussion with the home plate umpire, James Hoy, about this pitch. This was strike three to Nick Swisher. Swisher didn't like it, said something to Hoy, and Hoy immediately threw him out. Let's see if he was right. Well, yeah. we've seen him call worse strikes today, so he's had a wide strike zone. He, he's definitely had a wide zone. And uh, uh, if I heard Hoy right, in between innings when he was talking to Joe Girardi, he said he can't say that. And uh, obviously Nick Swisher used the long, wrong language and was thrown out of the game. Now, my point with uh, Nick being thrown out of the game, it's one thing to argue, but in a game when you're losing and you have a chance to come up later on, maybe do something, uh, you, you want to try and stay in ball games. The two on. Line drive, left field. It is a base hit. One run scores. Molina scores. They're going to wave home gaming. He scores. It is a bases clearing. Three run double for Mark Teixeira as the Yankees have tied the score at three. Teixeira has been waiting for this moment as Michael set it up. Andy Sonnenstein cannot win this game. As Teixeira has come through, uh, time's being called as it looks as though the Rays are going to go to their bullpen one more time. As J.P. Howe cannot get the job done. As Teixeira picks up his 13th, 14th, and 15th run batted in the year. And we've got a tie game. Let's see this. I don't know if it was a changeup. We'll take a look. Whatever it was, is towards the middle of the play. He's going to hit it off the end of the bat. And that's going to snap the bat, but it's well placed. Keeps it fair down the line. Had Johnny Damon at first, a, a runner with some good speed. And I don't know, Carl Crawford have trouble getting this out of the corner. Now he got to it all right. Damon. Comes all the way to score. The 0 2 taps slowly toward third. Longoria fields. Just got him. Just got him for the second out as the runners move up. Now, this ball gets by Longoria, it's going to be an infield hit, but he's showing his range at third and his strong arm. Got rid of it quickly. That was more like in the motive. Oh, that's close in first base. That is close. We'll take another look at it. There's the delivery by Longoria. The stretch by Pena. Wow. wow. He's safe he there. is. He is safe. Foot's on the bag and the ball's not yet in the pocket. Well, Mo, the umpire, thinks that Del Scott blew it. And the re Pena 0 for 3 with a walk, three strikeouts. That one's driven to right field and deep. Going back is Cabrera Sia, 4 3, Tampa Bay. The league's leading home run hitter strikes again. In fact, he's hit uh, six home runs in his last 12 games. Tremendous bat speed. Got it where he could get to it. And the 2-2. Two -two. Shattered bat. High fly ball down the right field line. And Zobris cannot make a play. 
pieces of that bat uh, all up and down the first baseline here as it you see Zobrist well, about five rows back. Zobrist having some fun. Bring on Troy Percival, four for four this year and save opportunities. Make it five for five with the tying run on third. Hideki Matsui flies out to left as Tampa Bay holds on. They win the ball game 4-3. Yanks now have lost four straight in the victory. Evan Longoria extends his hitting streak to 10 games.